Good morning, collective. Welcome to Intuitive Queen Tarot. I'm Ashley Cole, and I am back with your collective reading. Okay, guys, so I hope you all slept well. Um, and I am going to do my funny-ass shuffle this morning because I just want y'all to see. So I can start our reading. I did clear the energy with my crystals and... I just want to get y'all a message so y'all can see how you're doing, okay? So, alright, so I'm going to pull eight today from the Psychic Tarot, eight from the Light Series, and then we'll see if we need any messages from Spirit, alright? So, here we go. Wow, right off the back. Okay, so we have Harmony here, which is the lovers, okay guys? This card is all about union um okay or making a choice here so we're gonna put that one over there we got the first one new beginnings wow okay guys so this um i don't think i need to explain guys it looks like you have a new beginning on the horizon here okay and it could be concerning a divine feminine or divine masculine coming into union Okay, this is the Two of Wands. Um, you're possibly going to need to make some choices and some decisions. Uh, you may even need to travel soon, okay? Okay, and let's see here. Magician. Somebody out there is manifesting, okay? Let's see. Let's get four more. Material Harvest, the Nine of Pentacles. We know this is the Lady of Luxury in the in the Light Series, the uh, independent feminine energy that uh, basically manifests everything that she needs, okay? But this is all about Material Harvest, okay? And bringing in one's manifestations, okay? Let's see. Yes, like I said, you're going to have to make some choices and decisions soon, and Spirit is calling you to choose wisely so you're going to have options 222 two, two on the clock okay all right but when it, once you make that decision intuitively you know you're going in the right direction it's going to lead to a wish fulfillment we have the nine of cups here all right let's see one more Yes, so you may, you're going to definitely need to have courage. This is our strength card, which is power in psychic tarot, okay? So, something you're going to need to do soon is going to require you to make a decision. Okay, you're going to have options. Um, and it's going to be up to you to use your intuition to make the, the best decision for you. But it will lead to a wish fulfillment if you make the right choice, okay? This is leading you to possibly to uh, to union, a new beginning in a connection here, okay? And it's also going to lead you to material harvest. You will have options and um, you're moving towards a wish fulfillment. This is going to require you to have courage and I have a feeling our leap of faith card might come out, um, our full card. So let's see what we can get for light seers, okay? So we're going to start with our lovers. Oh, goodness. Right off the bat, some we, somebody has a tower moment coming today. We see we have the lovers there. And we know the tower is all about realizations. It's all about um, things happening or occurring that we are not expecting. Okay, it's also about faulty foundations, crumbling. Um, but in this situation, when it concerns a lover, um, in your situation, take what resonates for your situation. If you have, if you know new love is on the horizon for you, this could be your partner coming towards you um, causing this tower moment because you're not expecting them. Okay, but let's just see where this is going because we have a new beginning here and then we have the lovers and now we have a tower. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have seven of swords here in the reverse. Okay, somebody um, possibly was being sneaky and deceptive before but they have released this energy and this is allowing them to have a new beginning here because this seven of swords is coming out in the reverse okay okay and now we have the eight of wands we have fast communication coming in 444 on the clock the waiting game okay so you possibly have been waiting for this communication and now this communication is coming in very fast when this communication comes in 
being that it's sitting on top of this two of wands the waiting game you're possibly going to need a need to make um, a quick decision or a fast uh, decision here. You may even need to travel once this communication comes in with these two of wands here. Okay, or somebody may be wanting to travel towards you after may having this communication with you. Somebody's obviously manifesting here because we have the magician. But let's see where this is going. Yes. Okay, somebody's manifesting and this is bringing in the ace of pentacles. This is bringing in your gift from spirit. Someone is actively manifesting and your gift from spirit is on the way because of this. Okay, so let's see. Wow. Okay. Ooh, somebody's in the devil energy here. And it's right on top of material harvest. Someone could have been strongly um, desiring um, change in their financial situation here. So they've been focused on manifesting their fin um, change. Well, positive changes in their uh, finances okay so because we have the material harvest here and this is all about bringing in material abundance okay so and then we have the devil so someone somebody has been um strongly desiring changes in their finances and then you have the ace of pentacles which is a gift from spirit so that means you've been working so hard and you have had tunnel vision about bringing in this financial change and spirit is about to bless you with the ace of pentacles and this ace of pentacles is going to be your reward your material harvest that's coming in for all your hard work okay let's get another one okay so we've had a death and rebirth here okay and then we have choose wisely Okay, so somebody has went through a major transformation and possibly just experienced the ending um, in their life to bring in this new beginning, guys. Okay, so after this transformation and ending, you're going to have a choice to make. Okay, so you have something coming in that's going to be very fulfilling for you emotionally. Okay, and you're going to have to make a decision on what you want to do. You may have options here, guys, because we see that the Choose Wisely card is the Seven of Cups. And we know the Seven of Cups is all about making a choice or, or just having the options to make a decision or choice, okay? So if you have been manifesting a change in your in your money, you're going to have different offers. If you've been making um, manifesting a connection, you may have different options to choose from, okay? So choose wisely. Use your intuition, Okay, somebody is wanting to come in and express how they feel towards you, possibly even apologize. We have the Fulfillment of Wishes card here, which is the Nine of Cups. And this is all about being completely fulfilled emotionally. This is only one cup away from the Ten of Cups, guys. And somebody is wanting to bring this energy towards you because they want to express how they feel towards you. And if this is Nine of Cups, this person is definitely in love with you, okay? This is going to be very emotionally fulfilling, at nine of cups because this page of cups is wanting to say how they feel okay this is a lot of emotion here okay and we have the courage we see how we have the courage here power which is all about strength and courage and we have the five of wands somebody is finding the courage to come in and fight for this connection is what i'm hearing okay so let's see what we have here let's get the whole picture we have the tower moment that's coming when it concerns the lover. So you may have a divine counterpart that is about to rock your world with some news. Because we see the eight of wands over here. And we see that underneath it is the two of wands. So this person could have been patiently planning and trying to figure out how to approach you. And now they're about to come towards you with fast communication. Because they've had some realizations. Which, you know, caught tower moments cause these but it feels like this person is about to cause you to have a tower moment because they're going to come in expecting you all to you know discuss union okay this person may have been in deceptive energy in the past but this energy has been released and they want this new beginning with you here and we have the ace of pentacles over here which is a gift from spirit so this person is definitely in the right energy if they have been manifesting and spirit is sending an ace of pentacles after this manifestation this person is definitely align with you at this time you you or them could have been in this devil energy trying to focus on bringing your material harvest in and this is allowing you to manifest exactly what you want we know the devil can be all about strong desires and when we really want something we put our all into it and that is what i'm hearing here since you put all your all into this spirit is about to bless you with this ace of pentacles this could be your manifestations all coming in at the same time your love life could be changing 
overnight and your financial situation, okay? So we have a death and rebirth. You obviously and your counterpart may have went 9.55 on the clock, went through a major transformation, okay? And experienced a death, okay? Just so you can close out a cycle here is what I'm hearing. And it looks like whatever, whatever you've been manifesting comes in, you're going to have multiple options to choose from. So make sure you use your intuition. 10.10 10 on the clock. We also have... The page of cups here sitting on top of the nine of cups the wish fulfillment so this is your wish fulfillment coming in with this page of cups this is somebody you are wanting to come towards you and express yourself express themselves to you okay so this is obviously somebody you're waiting on and they're ready to rush in and fight for this connection because we have the five of wands here at the end sitting on top of this power. So this person, it feels like someone's divine counterpart has found the strength to come in and fight for this connection. Okay, guys, so let's get a couple messages from Spirit. Uh, all right, I'm gonna just shuffle these a little. I'm not gonna shuffle, I'm just gonna move them around. <laughs> Happy Monday. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just going to pull three. Let's see. Root chakra. Okay, guys. So make sure you do your chakra balancing today. I think, let's see how many come out first. But we know, um, yes, go ahead and do your chakra balancing. Okay, so root chakra, third eye, and see, yes, chakra balancing again today, guys. Sacral chakra. So just like I said yesterday, go ahead and focus on balancing all seven chakras today um you can find this on youtube um 11 on the clock all you have to do is search for um balancing seven chakras meditation or healing frequencies and you should find exactly what you're looking for 11 55 on the clock this is all your spirit is needing you to do today Okay, because you have fast communication coming from your divine counterpart. This is going to cause a tire moment. This person is sneaking towards you without deception this time. You have a new beginning on the horizon. And it feels like you're going to 12-12 on the clock. 12-13, guys, these are some beautiful angel numbers. It looks like you have some great news coming in all areas. And you manifested this because you have been working on yourself. And so has your divine counterpart. And they are coming. They have found the courage to come and fight for this to connection so make sure you're ready when they get here okay go ahead and focus one two three four on your chakras okay 45 minutes today balance those chakras so you're ready all right guys i love you bye